Hi, this is Raven Dust. Welcome to a new video series I am planning on doing called GNU Games. In these videos, we will look together at some great games you can play on your GNU slash Linux system. Most of the games we'll look at will be entirely free and open source software. So what game are we looking at today? I'm glad you asked, Random Internet Denizen. Today, we will be taking a peek at Zonotic. It is a fast-paced first-person shooting game with multiple different game modes. There are various weapons for you to pick up on the different maps, and you can choose to play single player with bots. Or, if you would like, you could start or join a multiplayer server to go up against other humans. Today, we are going to go through the first few single player matches against bots on medium difficulty. This will give you a simple idea of what the game looks like and how it feels. You will also be able to get a good idea of the different game modes that can be played in Zonotic. So, without further ado, let's jump right into some Zonotic gunplay on episode 1 of GNU Games. Let's launch into Zonotic. Lately, I have been running Pop OS. I am currently running version 20.10. Normally, you would download Zonotic from the official Zonotic website. However, you can find Zonotic waiting for you to install it in the Pop Shop if you are running Pop OS. Once we have Zonotic open, we can put our desired username in. This will be what identifies us in matches. We're not going to jump into any multiplayer matches today. Instead, we all go through some of the beginning rounds in the single player mode so you can get an idea of the different kinds of game modes. All of these game modes will be waiting for you when you download Zonotic. I should mention that you can download Zonotic on most operating systems. It is freely available on most GNU slash Linux distributions as well as on Windows and Mac OS. The first game mode we are playing is a free-for-all. Your objective in deathmatch is to kill everyone you see. It is that simple, no teammates, no one covering your back. You are on your own, so strategize, watch your health, and pick up some decent weapons before another player does. The next game mode we will be moving into is Team Deathmatch. In Team Deathmatch, you will be assigned one of two colors. These colors are either red or blue. Your objective is to eradicate any member of the opposing team who steps in front of you. Friendly fire is a thing in this game mode, as you will be able to tell by my reckless spraying when an enemy is near one of my teammates. Anyway, these are bots, so who cares? The end goal is the same as in deathmatch, except this time you have some help. Kill the enemy team, and try to protect your teammates, fun stuff indeed.
Triple kill. Massacre! Moving right along into our next match, we have my favorite of all of the game modes. This is the first of two rounds of Capture the Flag that we will be playing today. Anyone has ever played other first-person shooters is likely to be familiar with Capture the Flag, but let's go over it for those who might not have played before. In Capture the Flag, you will be assigned a team. Like in Team Deathmatch, the colors will be either red or blue. You will have to rush to the opposing team's base and steal their flag. Bring it back to your base and run it to your flag pole to score. In Sonotic, this round will need us to capture our enemy's flag five times in order to win the round. Protect your teammates when they hold the flag because if an enemy is able to kill the flag carrier and touch the flag, they return it to their own base. It never hurts to have at least one team member guarding the flag on your home base to stop enemies from taking it. 
With all of that in mind, let's get through this round, shall we? Our next match is yet another round of deathmatch. This is the free for all mode where you are on your own, so think carefully. You can always look around and find better weapons, armor, and health scattered around each map. Remember, you don't have any teammates in the normal deathmatch mode. You will need to be quick on your feet and shoot to kill. And don't forget to take advantage of the things that can be found throughout each and every map in the game. Now, let's see what kind of damage we can do in this round.
The next round we will be playing is Domination. Here, our goal is to control as many of the control points as we can. You will notice there are more colors this time around. They are red, blue, yellow, and purple. When you touch a control point, it will become synonymous with your color. You need to try to control as many of the points as possible and have the highest percentage be your color. If you can manage to do this by the end of the round, you will win. The best thing you can do here is simply keep moving. Don't worry about kills as much as you worry about keeping the control points lit with your color. You should also be proactive in attempting to protect your control points. If you see enemies near your points, try to dispose of them as quickly as possible. It helps to try to pick up good weapons from the start, so you can have better luck in defending your control points. Let's get through this one. Triple kill. The next round we will be playing is a game mode known as Key Hunt. This one might seem confusing at first, but it's easy to pick up on. Your goal is to obtain and hold the keys, meeting up with other key carriers on your team. You can steal keys from enemies by killing their key carriers. When you get your hands on some keys, try to hold on to them until the end of the round. If you are killed, your key will likely be stolen by an enemy. Patience and having good weapons on your side will help you drastically in this game mode. Things will be fast paced with everyone looking to grab the keys quickly, so keep your eyes out for enemies and try to nab as many keys as possible. You might even say that the whole thing is the key to winning. LOL, right?
Triple kill. Finally, the grand finale for this video is going to be one more round of Capture the Flag. What better way to end this video than with my favorite game mode. Anyway, this time we are on a map called Geoplanetary, and it is one of my favorite maps in the game overall. There is a lot of action to be had here, with machine guns ready to be picked up at each base. Like any other Capture the Flag match, do your best to protect your own flag carriers and get the enemy's flag to your base. Like Domination, Capture the Flag is not all about kills. Kills are necessary for defending your flag, but your main focus should be obtaining the enemy flag and getting it to your base while protecting your own flag in the process. Let's get this round finished up, and then we will get ready to sign off for this video. Triple kill.
This is going to wrap it up for this first episode of GNU Gaming. I hope you had a good time learning a little bit about Zonotic. If you want to play it on your own computer, be sure to go to Zonotic's website to download it for yourself. If you like the game, consider donating to the Zonotic developers. Free and open source software developers rely on contributions from the community to fund their software and continue to make it better. So if you love Zonotic, be sure to contribute if you can. Thanks again for watching with us today. On the next episode of GNU Gaming, we are going to take a look at Mine Test, the free and open source crafting game very similar to Minecraft. See you next time, and have a spectacular week.